Welcome to Botopia TV, the unscripted lifestyle series that takes viewers aboard a journey to the world's hottest nautical destinations. Let's ride the wave! Hi! We're here at the Great Matter Super Yacht, and now we're going to meet with AJ from the Cambridge Yacht Group. Hi, AJ! Hey, Anna. How's it going? I'm good. How good are you? you? Good, good. good. To see Welcome you. aboard, yeah. Thank you. Well, we are very excited, and I know you're going to give us a tour yeah. and show us everything about this lifestyle. Absolutely. Come on board. All right. So AJ, to get to know you a little bit better, please tell us how did you find your passion for super yachts and boats and all these beautiful things that we're seeing right now? Yeah, so um, I've always been passionate about boats. Uh, when I was 18, I actually was in yacht management. So most of my days were spent cleaning them, to be honest, uh, washing them, doing the, none of the glorious stuff that we see here today. <laughs> but, uh, you know, just polishing, cleaning, maintaining, um, managing the operations of it for whoever the owner was. And uh, after about seven years of that, seven or eight years of that, uh, it's funny, my wife was actually like, you should get into selling them. And I was like, well, I mean, that's a good idea. And, <laughs> and I always like see the yacht brokers and they're traveling the world and, it, you know, they get the, the, the better part of the job. And so I um, got into that and, and I kind of just have been running with it ever since. And you know, I have a big client base from the management side, so I kind of already had their trust. And so the transitioning into, you know, brokering and dealing with the transactions was kind of a just the natural step, natural progression. Wow, that sounds great. I see a hot tub here. Yeah, yeah. This Tell is, me uh, more about all this. This is, this is the most popular spot of the boat. Um, this is the bridge deck here, so we're up on the second floor. I guess drinks happen here, right? Yeah, you this is the day bar. Um, you know, your friends are going to hang out here. The crew is going to serve you drinks and, okay. uh, you know, prepare food and snacks and stuff like that nature. So up here on the bridge deck, we have the hot tub. Um, it's one of the major selling features of, of any boat. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, between the hot tub and the sun lounge chairs, you can see why this is one of the more popular spots on any boat. You know what, AJ? This is the Boatopia lifestyle I'm talking yeah, about. It sure is. It sure is. I love it. So I see a lot of different yachts here, but definitely this has a unique look. And tell me more about it. I know you mentioned this is a, a very fast yacht. Tell us. Tell us more. Yeah, so it, it doesn't take long to look around here at the marina and, and kind of notice what's different about gray matters. Um, you, you know, you look to your left and right and you see a lot of tri-deck yachts and they're very beautiful and, and they have a lot of room. But what makes gray matters different is the lines. You know, you, you look at this profile of this boat and it's very sexy, it's modern, it's, it looks fast. And that was really the whole idea behind the Sport Yacht series. You know, they right. came out with seven of these and they were meant to be fast, they were meant to be sexy, and they were meant to be very modern. And so I it's think- it's the Ferrari of the yacht. Yeah, so, you know, they do travel a, a little quicker. They, you know, this one's powered by twin MTU 4000s. So it's capable of maybe 27, 28 knots. And uh, that, that's fast, you know, you're talking a five stateroom you know, yacht that's going 40 miles an hour or 35 miles an hour and... I can see my hair blowing. Yeah, so they're, they're, they're fast. What kind of activities um, take place in this part of the yacht? So you'll notice that here um, we're actually in the shade. So this is a common place to hang out with the family, watch TV. We have two Sunbright TVs on either side, port and starboard side of the bridge deck here. Um, Sunbright TVs, they, they don't have any glare. So from any position, any place of the sun, you'll always have a good picture on the TV. And then we just have lounge areas. Um, whenever our owner's on board, he likes to turn this place into a little bit of a gym and he has cardio equipment and stuff up here. And it's also air conditioned. So when we're underway and when we're at anchor and you know people are here, we can control the climate and it's a very comfortable space. And as well as we have a barbecue here, uh, food prep station and then as well as the bars. So this is a good place for the crew to, you know, kind of hang uh, out. Yeah, hang out and, and smoke a cigar or yeah, something like that. And provide a good service to whoever's on board. We're here on the main deck and AJ, please take us around the great matter. Yeah, so as we step into the main salon here, 
Um, you'll see this is where our entertaining area is for, you know, inside the vessel. We have a main service bar. This is where the crew mainly works out of as far as drinks and coffees and stuff of that nature. Um, you know, we have a screen here for movies and a nice couch. Uh, this is our main dining area as well. We have a day head over here uh, to the port side of the boat. Um, and then the bridge up top, this is a wheelhouse where the captain operates and pilots the boat. I know you're hiding something from us, and I heard there's something very special about this boat, and it's a custom media room, right? Yeah, so what kind of separates Gray Matters from the other sister ships that we do have mm -hmm. um, is that on the main deck, we, instead of having a master's cabin, we have a media room. Um, this was kind of built in part to help entertain guests on those rainy days. It's a lot. It's something that's very overlooked when you're looking into, you know, super yachts. Is what do you do on the bad days, the right. bad weather days? And so the media room here, we have a, a beautiful screen. We have PlayStation. We have games for the kids, and you're also still directly in line with the service and crew. So the galley is here. This is where they're preparing the food and and everything for the vessel. So. This space actually closes off. There's another day head here as well. And this is one of the most popular spots on the boat. I mean, for the crew, for, for the guests, this is where everybody takes naps and relaxes. And it's a beautiful spot. Beautiful. Thank so, you, thank you. AJ, tell us, how many guests can sleep comfortably in this boat? Yeah, so we have five staterooms here, so we can mm -hmm. sleep 12 guests comfortably. Um, obviously, if the owner wants to bring more, we can, and, you know, they can couch it up and stuff, but 12 guests comfortably in the five staterooms. Right. And uh, now we'll head back to the master stateroom, and this is the owner's cabin. All so. right, we're ready. Yeah. Uh, it's a full beam master, so you have the entire width of the ship is what basically what that means. And we have four portholes on each side. Um, that's kind of customary to Palmer Johnson. They're really known for that. And uh, we have a full beam bathroom as well, so his and hers. Uh, if you guys are you know happy with each other, you can leave the doors open. If you get in a fight, you can close <laughs> it off and have each to yourself. So. I love it. It's very important. Yes, yeah, it's, it's practical. <laughs> And then a full California walk-in closet. Walk-in um, closet. Yeah, it's kind of one of the, the biggest features of, of most yachts now is, is closet space. You know, one thing that we can't get enough of on a yacht is storage space, be it for um, provisions and food or for your guests and their clothing. So um, closet space is kind of a, a, a huge factor when it comes to selling a yacht. Right. Okay, so we'll step into the master's uh, bathroom here. Is that a jacuzzi I see? It is. So we have a full jacuzzi tub. Mm -hmm. um, it's a full beam bathroom. So, um, you know, it, it goes the entire length of the ship as well. Jacuzzi tub, uh, his and hers sinks, uh, vanity for your wife or girlfriend or a significant other. And, uh, you know, this was all part of the refit that was done in 2014. And the owner spent, you know, around between seven and eight million dollars refitting the entire interior of the boat. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of the stuff in the master's stateroom is actually Hermes. So, you know, he has great taste and he spared no expense when he did the refit. He sure has good taste. AJ, I have a question. Mm -hmm. When it comes to music, mm -hmm. tell us about that. Here so we in have. Now. We have uh, an integrated system, okay. so each room can play their own music. Everything's controlled by these iPad devices here. Each room has their own. It can you also plug your yeah. Bluetooth cell phone? Yep. You can everything. plug in your cell phone, Bluetooth, anything you want. It controls the lights, it controls your TV, and then as well there's a master control that can play the same music throughout the entire vessel, which is what we hear now. Right. I also heard there's a very interesting story about this whole speed and how the boat really works. Yeah. So you want to tell us more about sure. it? Sure. So Grey Matters is uh, very unique. There's actually not another vessel in our class that is like this. Um, it's powered by two MTU 4000s, which is pretty customary. But uh, aside from that, we have three gyro stabilization systems down in the engine room. And the best way to explain that is, is just huge ball bearings that counterweight the vessel's rock and roll and So we seas. would be like this? Yeah, so if you go out with any other yacht, they have they have spin stabilizers, so uh -huh. when you're underway, the boat stabilizes itself. But when you're at anchor, there really was nothing to combat the waves and the seas and people getting seasick, so 
This company called Seakeeper creates these things called, uh, you know, they're, they're gyro stabilization systems. And so when we turn those on, the boat will not roll with the waves. It'll keep it completely steady. And that's something that Gray Matters offers that no other boat in its class has. All right. This is Gray Matters. And for the boat, Miami Boat Show, we dropped her price to 10995 and uh, she is seriously for sale. And it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. To meet the people, see the places, and experience the yachting lifestyle, make sure to like, subscribe, and share Botopia today.